The Little Shell Tribe of Chippewa Indians will be having a commemoration tomorrow night celebrating their federal recognition. The tribe is still looking for land for their reservation. They're uh, looking to buy 200 acres in the Cascade County area. The tribal government has talked about putting up a tribal office, a trade school, a clinic, even elder housing. The chairman of the Little Shell Tribe, Gerald Gray, says the plan is to keep the tribe independent. Because we've, we've always viewed ourselves as a tribe, we've always had a tribal government, a council that we've never stopped. And so these, these things that we are looking at um, are going to be that economic driver that's going to make us, I, will, I, will, I would say, one of the most successful tribes in Montana. Tomorrow's celebration will be held at the Holiday Inn at 5 p.m. The public is encouraged to attend. The Great Falls Police Department is teaming up with the community to speed up the time investigations take and also identify suspects. GFPD is launching a program called SCRAM, Security Camera Registry and Mapping Program. People who live in Great Falls can let police know if they have cameras or surveillance systems outside of their homes that they're willing to let officers look at the footage if a crime happens in their area. The SCRAM program does not give the police department remote access or control of a registered camera system. Police say registering a camera can help identify potential leads. If we have a crime in your area or we, we develop a lead where a suspect may have came through your area, it allows us to contact that person and say, hey, do you have video? If you do, can we look or can you look to see if you see this person or this suspect or whatever it might be coming through your area at this date and time? So you can register your camera or surveillance system by heading to GFPD's website and clicking on the SCRAM logo. Then just fill out your name and contact information in the registration form. We'll have a link to this on our website, on our website's KRTV or KXLH.com. Well, the spring-like temperatures are melting away. Some winter worries for those on two and four feet. Fort Benton residents took advantage of the warm morning. Some walked with their furry friends near the iconic Sheep Monument, Shep Monument rather, and uh, others cast their lines in the river, hoping for a fresh catch. Life along the banks of the Missouri River is starting to wake back up as winter's cold grip floats away with some large chunks of ice. Our Storm Tracker weather team continues to monitor any flooding concerns due to those ice chunks, but right now we're seeing those worries float away for the weekend. Yeah, Brandon Michaels joined us now. Brandon, you're expecting this beautiful weather to continue. Yeah, we're tracking some pretty nice weather uh, as we head into the weekend. Really no signs of our mild weather changing anytime soon here. Let's take a look at the current conditions we're seeing. We're going to start in Helena this evening. 42 degrees is the temperature there. Three mile per hour wind out of the southwest. Got a good amount of cloud cover, really not expecting that to last too much longer. We're going to see skies clear out as we head through the evening here. Looking at Great Falls, still some clouds in the background. Tiny bit warmer at 45 degrees and quite a bit breezier. You can see that flag really moving. Uh, we've got a 21 mile per hour wind out of the southwest right now. That's going to keep us pretty mild through the night tonight. And we're going to stay nice and warm tomorrow, too. We're looking at Great Falls forecast here for tomorrow. A little bit of sunshine, actually a decent amount of sunshine early in the day. And then clouds increasing late. Temperature very nice and warm. 48 degrees for the high, so pretty close to 50 once again. Down in the capital, 43, so a little bit cooler. We're also going to see those clouds push into Helena a little bit earlier than we do see them push into Great, uh, Great Falls, so mostly cloudy skies for Helena tomorrow, and uh, it's not going to stop there. Sunday looking pretty nice as well, and we'll talk about that later in the show. I'm live at the Montana Expo Park for this year's Margarita Meltdown, where the only thing